found a problem. Yep, look underneath of the Jeep. What do you mean? Welcome back to the channel. So guys, as you can see, we bought another tow part build. So we're here at my storage unit. We're gonna hook up the trailer. We're gonna head to the bank, it's get our cashier's check. We're gonna head to Wichita, Kansas, which is about a three hour drive for us. So we're gonna go ahead, hook up the trailer and get going. All right, guys, so we've made it to Copart and we went inside, we got the title, got all the paperwork. We're now sitting out waiting to get loaded. There's quite a few people in front of us. Um, there might be a 20 to 30 minute wait is what they thought. So it's definitely cold outside. It's like 30 degrees. So we're sitting inside, got my straps already, waiting for them to just bring the car out. busy in the yard we're gonna go ahead and try to start the vehicle and put it put the brakes on so we can just drive out of here so we can strap it out outside of the yard hopefully it starts okay we have a starter if you want to keep your foot on the brake you got crank windows that's cool <laughs> um, go ahead and shut it off I still can't get the key back out RJ was doing that too. Check out the doors. Look at that. They're just. Can you pull the key out? I can't pull it out. Let me see. It won't come up. The other Jeep is doing this too. And the cue just wouldn't come. Get it? Yeah, I think there's a button on the side you have to push. Hmm. Okay. I like the doors. Yeah. 
Well, start. Well, guys, we have a Jeep. Again. Where you walk this way. All right, guys, so I bought this. I looked at it the night before, jumped on the next day, and basically I put an offer on it. I had one other person bid $50 against me. I pushed $50 and I won it. It, it went around the bonus time two times. It went bonus twice. And so that actually caused me to be pretty concerned by not, not being able to see it and then having nobody else bid against me. So they said that there was side and rear damage. So we were looking and they had quite a bit of the parts on the ground when we were looking at the photos, they had parts down. We could tell that this was dented and this was dented, but, and, and I am seeing quite a bit of rust on the frame. Yeah. Um, but this really doesn't look like any yeah, damage. That's good. That's good. It doesn't look like it actually dented the frame. But then this one's pulled out a little bit more. So, I mean, that one's pushed yeah, I mean, in it, a little it bit. It bent this, but I don't think it bent the actual. And frame then, right. of course, the door, which actually, which I was hoping the door, the rear tailgate does look like it's in there. Um, we were looking at the hitch, which was laying on the ground in the photos. It is mangled a little bit on that side. But we do have the fenders and a spare tire, and all the tires look to be in really good shape. They wired in something to For a trailer, or unless it was lights. It could have been lights. We do have the tail light here. Oh. That's cool. Maybe I can just get a cover for it. Okay, well, you want to put this stuff in the back of the truck? Yeah, yeah, let's just uh, start grabbing it. We'll throw these up if you want to grab something else. They don't look broken. They don't. So in the photos, yeah, we were able to zoom in to this tire in the in the photos, and they are 305 70 16s. So they're 33, 12 and a half, I think. Wow, look at that. They got what a lot brand of is this? They're aired up a bunch, but they look good. Trail cutter. Tampa. Tamp yep. Okay, I like that it has five matching rims. I like the bent hitch. Southern hitch. It doesn't look like it was hit too bad, but you can see here where it was bent. But really, I mean, that's doesn't look like it was hit that hard. Got some broken glass, tail lights. It's just I'm just gonna grab more of the whatever plastic I can. That's it looks like it spit something on the trailer. Hopefully that's just water in the exhaust. Some broken glass. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Looks like a yeah, window motor for maybe the back or it was the latch or no idea. You want to take these and we'll grab the tailgate? Uh tailgate can I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Depends on how heavy it is. Thinking about it's a little bit. There you go, so Okay, so that goes to potentially the latch on the door. Hmm. I wonder if it's... You got it? Yeah, I got it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Some random nuts and bolts. Hey, look at that. <laughs> oh, really? The tailgate like goes crazy. It doesn't even look broken. Just screws right on. There you go. 
Okay, let's go around and see if there's anything. Maybe scoot the seat back, pull the seat belt back up. I really, I'm fascinated by how these, how these doors work. Mason, what? just found a problem. What? You found the problem? Yep, look underneath of the Jeep. What do you mean? The front drive shaft's missing. Quite a bit of rust. A whole lot of it. Well, Max. So apparently this is where the frames have a little problem. And they rust right there. That's good. Do you see anything else? No, no, no. Let's take a look under the hood. I'm going to start throwing some straps on it. I guess nothing to hold the hood open? They have wheel spacers on it. Uh, yeah, it should be a front bar that holds it open. Uh -oh. I don't think so. I mean, nothing looks messed up. This looks a little dirty and some rusty parts, but I mean, it started. Hmm. Look at that more when you get home. Has a uh, like a little strap on it to prevent it from opening all the way. That's pretty cool. Undo it. You see that? This little thing right here holds onto a bar. Where is it? Look in here. Just this whole thing. That's neat. Cool. The seat will go forwards, but not backwards. What the, that's what that little button's for? I got yeah. the key out? Okay, they released it. Huh. I don't know if it actually is what that's for or... I just noticed something on the other side. if it's in it. <laughs> Is there a key in it? I'm trying to open it. It pulls your way. I know. Can't get it open. <laughs> Just break it.
Just scratch the finger. That's fine. Can't open it. All that for nothing. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna put the window back up. You want to start going around and tightening them? Yeah. All right, Hannah's not a big deal. The best thing to do going down the road. It smells a little bad in there. Imagine living down the same street as Copart. Uh -huh. I mean, maybe the tailgate could be bent out, or not. I don't know. I'm not super happy about the uh, drive shaft missing. Yeah. Now it's really concerning. Looks like maybe someone's opened that diff up already. You didn't try moving it at all, did you? No. I guess we can get to storage, pop the straps off, and see if it will drive back and forth, and then drive it home. And then pull it up into the driveway. Well, what if it doesn't drive? And we put it back on. Well, then it won't come off the trailer. I mean, it'll come off. Do you have the key? Hope you do. I do have the key. All right, guys. So now that we have the Jeep strapped down, the wheel strapped down, and a bunch of the parts inside, we're going to go ahead, get inside the truck where it's a little bit warmer, and start heading home. All right, guys. As you can see, we got the Jeep home. We stopped at storage. We unloaded the Jeep. We made sure it drove back and forth on the trailer. We got it unloaded, and then we drove it home. And honestly, Mason drove the Jeep home, and... It, it did fine.
did find it. We do smell a little bit of coolant, so we will have to get into that and kind of see what that smell is. But thank you guys so much for watching. We are going to go ahead and call this part a video and stay tuned. We will get into walking around, looking at the damage, and just kind of seeing what this Jeep is all about. So if you're interested in watching that, stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and thank you guys so much. We will catch you guys in the next video.